windshield. It's on the other side of the windshield, hanging from the poles. Oh, I gave too much of a hint. That was too much. We're in America. I have an empty step deck behind me right now. And we've crossed into Minnesota, USA. I gotta go down here and pick up a preloaded trailer and bring it on back home. Feels good to be back down here again. You know, I almost forgot how much better the roads are. So we're on the way down to Thief River Falls, Minnesota. It's a couple hours south from our, our home base in Manitoba. I crossed from uh, Tolstoy, Manitoba into Lancaster, Minnesota. We're going down highway, uh, what is this, 59? Or is this highway 75? I think it's 59 until we get to the U.S. border, then it turns to 70. I don't know. We're on the eastern edge of Minnesota here. Pardon me, the western edge of Minnesota. It's good to be back with our American friends. They've welcomed me back again. On the way back, I have to cross through at Pemina, North Dakota into Emerson, Manitoba, because we'll be loaded then. Oh, and here's Border Patrol. Wait, maybe not. No, never mind, I just thought it was Border Patrol. Coming to check out what's Trucker Garage doing down here. Well, if you pull him over, you gotta check him up. What's he doing? So we're here, and everything has been changed around since I was here last. I haven't been here in a couple of years, but this used to all be wide open, and all the flatbed trailers would be loaded over there and here. Now I see all the empty ones are here. There's another one over there. I'm going to put mine over here. And I see our loaded ones are over there. I'm guessing I'm taking one of those. I'm not too sure. But we're back in America. Everything is so much nicer. I hate to say it. I hate to say it because I like my country. I really do. But uh, the budget down here to build things, uh, like to build infrastructure, it's a tad bit higher than our budget in Manitoba, where we got a big province, not so many people. We kind of like it that way. We like being secluded, it's quiet, not a lot of people around, it's too cold. Most people don't want to come to Manitoba, I don't blame them. And we like it the way it is now. However, with few people and a big land mass and all this empty land, we, we do have a lot of territory to maintain. And, uh, you know, a lot of our taxes go into our healthcare system which, as a Canadian, I'm completely fine with. You know, I know that it gets abused, but especially going through everything we're going through right now uh, in the world, it's nice to know that if you need a doctor, that you can go see a doctor, and you don't owe the doctor anything when you leave, all right? It's all sort of collected from us all as as we live our lives, and then as you get older, it's it's there. But this, I don't want to turn this into a healthcare topic. It, Keyboards are firing up already. I can hear it over there. Okay. It's, uh, I was talking about infrastructure and roads, and the U.S. down here spends a lot more money maintaining their roads and stuff, and it's it's just better built, to be honest with you. It doesn't mean that I don't like my country any, any less. I really do like living up there, and I don't mind the roads the way they are. You know, it could be worse. They could all be gravel. Well, then again, most of them are gravel. But all of them, even the main ones, could be gravel. That would be bad. So at least we got paved roads. <laughs> yeah. It's, maybe it's just because it's a little different. I, maybe it's just all in my head. But it is nice to be down here again. I always love coming to visit the U.S. And I'm only allowed to visit now for work purposes and essential purposes. And I can't wait for them to open the borders up again for recreation purposes or pleasure purposes, whatever you want. I can't wait for them to open the borders again and let us just come down for a visit for no reason at all other than to enjoy the beautiful country. I, I feel like we might be coming close to that, but I could be wrong. I don't know. I hope so, because I'd love to come down here. Uh, I'd like to go down to Sturgis for bike week. That's what I'd like to do, but I don't think it's going to be open by then. That's next month already. Who knows? Maybe. Look at that American air. That American asphalt. 
in a Canadian truck, eh? Just down here for a visit, eh? Don't mind me, I'm just picking up some snowmobiles, eh? Getting ready for the winter there. Picking these up, bringing them back. It took a little while for them to figure out uh, which trailer for me to take. Uh, this one was most pressing. Trailer 108 DB. So let's tie her down, go get our paperwork, and make our way back to Canada. You guys down here in America have a very hot sun. You gotta do something about that. It's a problem. Got everything tied down here. Didn't have a ratchet that would meet the right spot at the back here, so I had to use a manual four inch ratchet or a portable, sorry, manual. I've just gotta wrap this around here in such a way that uh, this extra, like this, like that, it's not gonna fly away on me. Where can I put this? I could always put it back there, I guess. I like to have it nice and neat tucked up in here. Ah, I know. I'll go around it like this. I'll sort of pin it to this. Okay, so... No, no, no. We want it to pull it shut, not pull it open. But on this side... Okay, there we go. Go around, go around, around, around. And there we go. Is that going to hold it? I don't think so. No, it's still pretty loose. Ah. Sometimes you just got to get a little creative. That should work. Keep my eye on it. All right. Time to go home. Time to bring these big old American machines up to Canada where they can be enjoyed. I think these are snowmobiles. Oh. Oh, no. Quads. That would make a lot more sense with that ball of fire so hot in the sky right now. I was wondering, why are we bringing snowmobiles back home? No, no, no. These are summer toys. Summer toys. Okay. Cool. I guess I should roll these up first. That works better. I stopped at this Cenex truck stop because I miss American truck stops. And it's a little one, but it's awesome. I like it. So I got my load of mean machines. We're taking her up to Canada. Open my, I just checked my straps to make sure that uh, they were tight. I still kind of see them flapping around a little bit back there. See, you can't crank the straps down completely, like really hard on these crates, because you'll break the crates. You want to strap them down tight, not too tight, but not too loose. Sort of got to find the sweet spot. So yes, we are headed back up to Canada. Just a short visit. I know, I'm sorry to disappoint you. You know, maybe one day we'll uh, go on a, a road trip in our personal vehicles for holidays down to the U.S. We, we got friends we want to visit and, uh, you know, we're big kids. I want to go to Disney World. <laughs> so we'll end up down there again, but for now, this is where we're at. Beautiful country out here. And there's the Manitoba sign. We're back in Canada. Nice little short trip into the U.S. It does feel different. You know, it looks exactly the same. And the scale's open. That's not a very nice welcome. It, it does feel different, you know? Even though everybody looks and sounds exactly the same. Maybe it's just in my head, you know? This feels different. This, this feels like home. That feels like vacation. And I had a big explosion of bug guts right in front of my camera like two minutes ago too. So enjoy that.
You're welcome. Yeah, it's kind of rude having the scale open, you know? It's like, hey, welcome home, how fat are you? I've said that before. It's not very nice to ask how, how, how heavy people are. Man, it's a weird way of getting in here. Well, look at this, they repaved everything. That's about time. I'll compliment them on that. Remember how bumpy it was going through here? Long overdue to get this repaved. Oh, nice. That's smooth. All right, hopefully they let us through. Roll down my window a little bit here. And that bug splatted right in front of you guys. Man. Told you this is real reality TV. There's a... Uh, that's, that's life right there. Sometimes you're the windshield, sometimes you're the bug. I think that's how the saying goes, right? I don't think I'm going fast enough for him to keep blinking the light. There you go, green light. Let me know, is that how the how the saying goes? Sometimes you're the windshield, sometimes you're the bug. In this case, you guys were the windshield. Lucky you. Man, this day took way longer than I thought it would. And I haven't really been dragging my feet either. It's just... There's so many more steps when you cross the border. Gotta go here, gotta stop here, gotta check in here. Got to make sure this paperwork is done over here and that paperwork over there. That guy's brave sleeping at the scale. I would never do that. Now is this a stop sign for me? Why is it way over there? I'm going to treat it like it's for me because I'm at the scale and there's a truck coming. Yeah, I wouldn't sleep at the scale. That's, uh, that's... That's risky. You know, as long as you're on their property, they can inspect you anytime they want to. Not saying that they would. Maybe they'd have some common decency and wouldn't. I wouldn't put it past them, you know, an overambitious officer. You never know. Maybe they're having a bad day. They want to make your day bad, too. I would go down the road. Go down the road to Latalia. There's a big parking lot there. Latalia, you can park there. That's just me. Manitoba Stampede. It's like the Calgary Stampede, except itty bitty. It's actually pretty cool. Uh, I haven't been there. I've always wanted to go there. And the last couple of years it's been cancelled, obviously, but uh, it's actually pretty, pretty fun from what I've heard. Yeah, it was my boss. Ha! I figured that looked like my boss's car. I think that was him anyway. He waved. That looked just like his car. Friday night cruise, I guess. Oh, and we're back to the Canada flags up on the, up on the light posts. So yeah. What was I talking about? I got distracted by the boss man driving past in his fancy car. <laughs> ah yes, the Stampede, Morris Stampede. I've been meaning to go and uh, 
experience it once. I guess we'll have to do that once everything opens up. Manitoba's been a little bit behind other provinces in Canada in lifting all mandates and stuff. I, I know we're on the path towards that right now, so things are looking up. Alberta is ahead of us, Saskatchewan's ahead of us. Of course, everyone's ahead of us. I mean, we're Manitoba. Can't be the first at anything. Don't want to stand out, you know? The nail that sticks out gets hammered, so we just sort of, you know, say somewhere in the middle, somewhere in the middle. I think most of Canada forgets we exist most of the time. Like, talk to your average Canadian, like, not me. Talk to, like, if you ever find a Canadian anywhere, ask them if they know anybody from Manitoba. <laughs> I can pretty much tell you they're probably gonna say, Manitoba? <laughs> nope. That's one good thing about my videos, I'm putting us on the map. I'm just reminding everybody, hey, us Manitobans, we're here. We still exist. You always keep flying over us, and that's fine, you can keep doing that, but just remember, we're still here. Oh, you want to race, bud? You want to race? Let me show you the power of my Peter. Come on. He's probably got a higher top speed than me. Uh, I'm limited at 100. Oh, you're going to have to show me some more power than that, bud, if you want to get past me. Come on, show me what you got. I figured, yeah, he's got no governor. That's not fair. That's not fair. Your Peter can go faster than my Peter. It's not my choice. Anyway, it's, it's been really nice sort of hitting the highway today, going down to Thief River and back. It's almost makes me miss the, the highway, the long trips, you know? Of course I miss them. I, I love the highway. I loved that job. I loved being over the road. But, you know, I love my family more. And right now, uh, Right now, I just need to be at home. No more trailer behind us. Dropped it off in the yard there where they can either uh, get it ready for the highway driver or they might need to unload it. Time to park the truck. And head home. Tuck it away in my little corner back here. This is my space back here. You leave it alone. There we go. Oonaba. Okay, I'm gonna tell the computer that I'm here and that I'm done. And we'll go home and enjoy the weekend. Got all my stuff. Until we meet again, girl. Have a good weekend. Stay out of trouble, will you? And no inviting boys over, okay? Be good. Crazy kids. Oh, get that AC pumping. Man, you know, when you think of Canada, you probably don't think of this heat, but woo! It's hot. Looks like I'm the last one in today. Look at that. Oh, would you look at that? Which reminds me, I left my timesheet in the truck and I need to mark down the time I'm leaving before I forget. Silly me, because if I don't do that, I'm going to forget. I know me. I know me well. Some might say I know me best. Some might disagree, I don't know. Come here, come on. I leave it in my orange folder. There you are, I forget you every single day. Okie doke, okie dokie. Okay, dokey. Now we can leave. Hand in our paperwork and everything. So a couple more things to do before we go, but be out of here in about 10 minutes. 
Well, I left my trailer here to be unloaded, but it kind of defeats the purpose when the next driver comes in and parks right beside my trailer. <laughs> oh, well. They have a shunt truck. They'll move it if they need to move it. Or, hey, it's not going to get touched on Monday probably, so... They can move it on Monday, or I can move it on Monday. They'll figure it out. And look at this guy, there's a dump truck here. I thought I heard rumors that we bought a dump truck, but I don't know if this is ours or not. Look at this thing, shiny. I hope I get a drive that, look how shiny that is. I wish my truck was that shiny. I've put in an, uh, a request, but uh, not for this, I just put in a request for a shiny truck, but look at that. That looks fun. Are we getting into like the dump truck business now? And we got our fingers in every pie. We do everything. Everything. If you need something hauled, we're the guys to call. We'll haul it. Okay, I'm pushing my button here. Excuse me. Excuse me, you're supposed to be open by the time I get here. Do you know who I am? Excuse me. The slowest gate ever. And some Jeopardy music. Okay, there we go. Look at this, I'm like the last one here. There's nobody here. Even the shop's gone gone home. Everybody's gone home. Here's Sir Josh, last guy here. It was a long day. But it was fun to go visit America again. Everything is still just as I left it, for the most part. For the most part. I miss going down there regularly. We have really nice neighbors next door. It's nice living next to them. And it's nice to go see them. But we're back up here in our home, Manitoba. And uh, it also feels good to be home. I like it here too. We have a good region. Really good region. Anyways, I'm pretty tired. I'm going to call it a day here. Thanks for hanging out with me today and coming all the way down Minnesota with me. I hope you have a great weekend, and I'll see you tomorrow.